everybody, Joan Zodians here, and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Sundays. This week, we're going to be talking about Gemini season and also Mercury shifting into Gemini. So Mercury is shifting from Taurus to Gemini on May 22nd, right? And Gemini season also begins on the 22nd as well. So happy birthday to all the Geminis out there. You're going to have a very Gemini season. <laughs> um, Mars is still in Cancer. Venus is still in Taurus. And we still have a triple retrograde. Sometimes I feel like the weather channel. <laughs> so let's bring it all together. What does it mean? Well, Mercury is the planet of communication, of intellect. It's how we process ideas. Is how we receive ideas, right? So since it was in Taurus, we were more stable. We were more nourishing. We, were, we had a lot of boundaries. We were also very stubborn. Now that it's going into Gemini, we're going to find ourselves to be more open-minded. We're not going to be as rigid or stiff as we were in Taurus. But that also means that more of us are going to lose productivity or we're going to feel more reckless or irresponsible or more restless or more bored. And if you start to feel that way, then it's a good time to utilize Gemini's strongest energies where they're more creative, where they're more imaginative. So if you're into like art or writing or some kind of, you know, creative work, then this is also a good time to explore that in yourself or to develop those skills or to continue it. You know, I don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> but if you're not doing any of those things, be prepared to feel like things might get a little bit more chaotic for you um, or scrambled. Some people have felt that under a Gemini Mercury, they feel more scrambled or just loose ideas, meaning that they're not very grounded. They're just kind of scattered everywhere. So be aware of that kind of energy floating around too, especially if you do not have an air sign in Mercury, then it's not going to be complimentary to you. Okay. Now, because we have Mars in Cancer and we have Venus in Taurus, we know that these elements are incompatible by nature. Air does not flow very well with Earth and it does not flow very well with water. Okay. So this is the part where I tell you guys that in your relationships, you might start to feel a little bit more confused. Okay, so it is always important for you, especially in your family with your, or with your family and friends, that those boundaries that you had in place under the Mercury Taurus, that you sustain those boundaries during a Gemini Mercury too. Because, you know, Gemini Mercury is more forgiving. And Gemini Mercury is also a provoker at the same time. Remember the double twins. This is a dual zodiac sign. So you may find yourself going back and forth with different situations where you feel like you can't come to a compromise or a conclusion or to find closure for a relationship or a situation happening in your life right now, right? On the other hand, if you're in the mood to forgive somebody, this is also a good time for that. <laughs> Just try not to flip flop back and forth. You don't want to look like you're unstable or you're just, you know, you're not a person of your word or that you're going to go back on your word. You never want to be that person. OK, you want to stick to your boundaries, your initial boundaries under the Mercury Taurus if you put them there. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're not going to cause somebody else more chaos in their world, too. Gemini Mercuries are known for their love for gossip and drama and being petty, okay? Um, and they're also known for their love of, again, the creative work and, you know, really going there with their imagination. So you need to, you need to be aware of this, that you may assume something is happening because you want the drama to be there. You want something else to be there. So ground yourself, okay? Because... That could be the negative side of having this um, Mercury and Gemini right now. But on the other side of things, if you want to look at things more positively, you can use this energy to get creative. That's the key word, okay? The get creative in your work 
or in your relationship and try to do things that are outside of your comfort zone to have a little bit more fun, to not be so stiff or not be so regimental in your routines, right? You may also find yourself to be a little bit more talkative during this time. You may find different ways of communicating that you haven't been able to do before or, you know, really just dabbling in and out of multiple things. So give yourself permission to experiment or to, you know, try something new. This is a good time for that. And you may find that something will stick and may become long-term because remember Venus is in Taurus and Taurus loves long-term relationships or, and it doesn't have to be relationships with people. It could just be relationships with things. So try to not get restless and feed into all the drama and the gossip going around um, in your personal circle, but then also in your external circle as well, um, or just even online. Try not to feed off the negativity. You don't want to be the evil twin of this of the Gemini. You want to be the good twin, the creative one, the one that is more productive or tries to find ways to you know not get bored or restless or to utilize their time in a more efficient and productive way. Make sense? So try not to feed off the egos of people or to fuel it or gaslight others. You don't want to be part of the problem. You want to be part of the solution. And it's just bad karma overall. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't want that on you right now. Gemini, Mercury, or Mercury and Gemini, you can say it either way, lasts until the rest of this month going into the next month um, or early next month, okay? So try to <laughs> just hang on and, and force yourself to remain focused on the tasks at hand and not get too chaotic in your life. If you find that you cannot ground yourself, remember to take a time out and to reflect and to meditate and to really get in tune with your energy again so you can realign yourself and refocus yourself, okay? That's the most important thing. So remember to ground yourself, ground your energy, even though it may be difficult to do that under a Mercury Gemini. I mean, you can do it. Everything is choice. Uh, be careful for shock value everywhere. People are looking to, you know, stay relevant or they're trying to twist things right now. So be aware of that and how people communicate may not be straightforward during this time or they may try. I mean, they're coming from a place of confusion. So, of course, it's not going to be direct. So be careful of that, too. Um as you guys know, I'm taking a break from spiritual sessions for a while because I am writing my astrology book, which is which is happening and I'm really excited for it. And this is what I'm saying. Mercury and Gemini really utilize your creativity and something productive in your life so that you can progress forward. But I love you guys so much. And um, thank you for all your love and support and all the sweet things you guys say to me um, in on Instagram and on my, my comment sections and everything like that. See you guys next week. Bye. 